What up, folks? I'm UltraZilla, and today I have a review of the Bandai Movie Monster Series, Bandai Premium. Gabara from Shin Ultraman and Naranga from Shin Ultraman. However, these are special ones. This is the closed face version of Gabara. And this is the clear invisible version of Naranga. As you can see, they're in these giant boxes. Uh, I got these at BBTS. I've talked a lot about BBTS this week. Um, but I did get them there on sale. So that's pretty cool. Nice red and blue packaging. And there you go. Um, I, I didn't get them originally because I felt like they were a little bit too pricey and were shipping. They were going to be way too pricey. I knew they were going to be in boxes like this. So I knew that wasn't going to be cost effective. But I, I basically got the two of them for the price of one. Uh, and that's pretty awesome. They were like 36 bucks each. You could check there for availability even now uh at that price might be i'm not 100 sure but it might be um but that's neither here nor there let's get into these boxes and get into the review yeah. and here they are out of the package and it's cool to get these guys again uh you know finally I, they've been out for a little bit now um, but I, I liked both of them originally. The molds are very, very nice. Here is the invisible, uh, Naranga. And I gotta say, the plastic is really, really squishy soft on this. Um, I don't know if that's because it's, you know, <laughs> clear. I, I don't know why it's so soft. Uh, but it is. It definitely is. The tail is super soft. I don't remember the original one being like that. But I'm guessing we're gonna look at that one. There is a very yellowish hint to the plastic i don't know if that's from just being around i don't know if it originally was like that like i said i didn't get it originally so but at least it'll stand out on the white background a little more <laughs> the sculpt is really good on this if you haven't seen it um i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it now but i think you can still see it pretty decently i'm putting my hand behind it so you could see it a little better but very nice sculpt all around on Naranga, really do like it a lot. Very, very nice. If you haven't seen Shin Ultraman yet, please do check it out, it's incredible. So very, very cool, very awesome looking head. His ears, um, they're not full ears, it, it kind of makes it out like it's full ears, but it's just like these things here, that like flop back, and this is just empty, but you know, movie monster series, they don't, they don't really cut out too many pieces like this. I'll do it for the nails. But they don't really do much else. There is like some bubbling here and there, as you can see there. Um, but not so much, actually. Maybe just maybe it's just there. I don't know. Uh, I see a little bit more right in here. Right there. But, you know, whatever. Looks pretty good. I think the head sculpt looks pretty nice overall. I like it. Uh, as far as articulation on this guy, he doesn't have a head. I mean, he has a head. Um, he's got the arms, he's got the legs, and the tail does not move. So, just four points of articulation, Naranga. But overall, I think it looks really good. The tail is enormous. Tail on both of these guys are enormous. Um, that's why the boxes are so long, even more so for Gabor, because of that head. But overall, man, I, I think this is a really nice Naranga. It's cool to get this. Really and good. as for the uh, closed face Gabor, his head does turn, so you could do the, you know, turning drilling of it then the arms move the legs move and the tail does not move but let's look at that head because that's what's new here and it's pretty awesome i really like the sculpt not much paint going on here maybe a little bit of shading around the edge here but otherwise oh no actually there is shading why did i see it it's a little lighter on this side but there is a little bit of shading on these like threads here See that? Yeah, it's there. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's very, very light. But it is there. But I like it. I think it looks really cool. I, I do dig that. Very, very nicely done. It it's interesting to get this form. Why not? The arms look pretty good. I like it. Nice nails. Yes, there is a lot of... If you're noticing it, there is some, you know... Things are the same from Narang and Gabora because, you know, they're kind of sort of related in a way. 
Shading up here looks great. The nails look really nice. Then on the body, looks pretty good. Shading all over here looks really good. Nice sculpt. The legs have a nice sculpt. The nails again look pretty good. And then you got this awesome, and this is different from Naranga. It's um, a very cool, like, kind of coppery looking like, back armor here. Very, very nice. And it looks like, you know, things that would coil into the head in a way. Because you see how it goes inwards. It's kind of cool how it's done. Really, really very, very well done. Really, really very well. I don't know what I was saying there. But anywho. I think it's good looking. <laughs> I'll say that. How about it? I like it. It's it's really nice. I liked it the first time. I like it the second time. It just looks really good. Man, this really just looks like copper wiring. And it's very cool. Like copper tubing. Very well done. Both of them. Again, just awesome to finally get these two and these versions. I really did want them because, you know, unlike a lot of like you know, special edition movie monster series stuff. You see a lot of Godzilla Star stuff and stuff, and then, you know, whatnot. Um, these are at least, you know, movie specific, you know, Naranga becomes invisible. So that was a cool thing to do. Gabora's head does that. So that was a cool thing to do. So uh, I'm really glad I, you know, ended up finally getting these and, you know, for a really good price in my opinion so yeah that, that really worked out for me um and if you wanted them you know i hope it i hope you were able to get them and you again check i didn't check but um they might still be there at that price sometimes they just leave things at the prices they uh discount them at so yes and for your size comparisons here is gabora and naranga with the SH Figure Arch Ultraman and two Ultra Action figures with uh, Mephilus and a Landing Shin Ultraman. Uh, and they all look pretty, pretty good with those. I don't really have the uh, Movie Monster Series versions of Shin Ultraman or Mephilus or uh, Alien Zarab, uh, for that matter, handy. I don't know where I put them. They must be all together now. <laughs> um, but they're missing right now. So I'm not showing you those, but I think these scale well with them. As well. And here they are with their, you know, general release counterparts. You know, here's the open head version. The open head is cooler, obviously, but, you know, this is just, it's a cool little item. And then... You got, um, you know, the painted Naranga, which is awesome. I did notice it feels like this guy's a little bit shorter, but not true. Let's 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 see the squishiness now. See, this isn't squishy. This super squishy. I don't get it. I don't know why. That's very 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 odd. But I'm glad to have all of these guys. And my final thoughts. Really happy to have these. You know, honestly, this was a great deal. Um, uh, really, uh, I didn't want to pay full price for either one of these when they first came out. So I I've been like looking at Mandarake here and there, but the prices were just as bad, to tell you the truth, if not worse. So I never really found a great deal overseas for these two. Um, but I had a jump at 36 bucks each at BBTS, you know, like that was ridiculously good um, uh, for these two. And then, you know, with the shipping... Again, it was going to cost you the same as one coming from Japan. So, well, well worth it, in my opinion. Uh, they look really cool. I'm glad to have them in the collection. Are they must-haves? No. But they do represent something that is in the movie. So, that, to me, was really important and a really big selling point. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.